Our climate is changing and we can feel it. Extreme weather events, flooding and heat waves are increasing. The sea level is rising. The Earth's atmosphere is getting warmer and warmer. This is because people are producing more and more greenhouse gases, particularly CO2. Greenhouse gases are produced primarily when coal, natural gas or oil are burned to generate energy for heating, for cars, and for all the products we use in our daily lives. This is why the international community adopted an agreement at the International Climate Conference in Paris. The common goal of this agreement is to limit global warming to well below 2 degrees Celsius and, if possible, to 1.5 degrees. Germany committed to become almost greenhouse gas neutral by 2050 this means producing almost no greenhouse gases anymore. This is an enormous and ambitious task. To achieve these climate targets, the German government adopted the Climate Action Plan 2050 in 2016, developed in consultation with representatives from the private sector, academia and the public. In Germany's Climate Action Plan, there are five areas of action. Energy, buildings, transport, industry and business, and agriculture. An additional area of action is climate protection in land use and forestry. At the heart of Germany's Climate Action Plan are targets set for all five areas, which must be met step by step on the road to greenhouse gas neutrality. The year 2030 is a key milestone. In 2030, only about half as many greenhouse gases should be emitted as in the year 1990. And by 2050, hardly any greenhouse gases should be emitted into the environment. How can this be achieved? Germany's Climate Action Plan provides the strategy. What may still seem ambitious today could become standard in the future. Efficient buildings that produce more energy than they consume. Mobility without harmful fumes in the city. What is certain is that in the future, most electricity in Germany will be produced from renewable sources. The German government is already promoting climate-friendly building and housing, electric mobility, renewable energy and more. But much more needs to happen to really protect the climate. If many of us, from the public sector, from the private sector, from academia and each individual, make a contribution to protecting our climate, we'll get closer to our goal each day.